for adults only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Okay, in regards to King Troll, we decided to first post the videos unlisted and give um the person in New York the link because they already um know about us so they are comfortable with going to the link so in this this um video it's the correspondence that we sent to the person in new york right and then what we're about to read you right now um that was sent to them will be changed and reworded for the officers for the studio and whomever else right and then we'll we'll come back and let you know how that was worded Right, because we still have time to reword it and all that and send it to the police because it's going to take some time for the person in New York to get the correspondence, right? So, so let's, 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 just, go, let's just, just dive into it, okay? So this is the correspondence we sent to the person in New York, right? This is just a personalized message to that individual. This is not addressed to the police as of yet, okay? It will be addressed to that, but we just wanted to get this part out, right? For all of you to see what we sent. And then... Um, when the email is sent to everyone else, we're going to come back and then read that to you. So, this is what was sent to the person in New York. Hello, we wanted to update you since our last correspondence in regards to Mr. Thayer, Mr. De Leon, and Mr. Stefano falsely identifying you on YouTube as a pedophile and a child abductor. Unfortunately, the name Anthony D, which is synonymous with your name, has resurfaced with a new individual. That individual goes by the name of King Troll Mr. Outside, as previously stated. Anthony D seems to be synonymous with your name, especially when Mr. Thayer stated after being told that you were the wrong person that your name still had merit. That statement is included in the video compilation link below. In any case, when one of the names are mentioned, the other is not far behind. So we wanted to be proactive ahead of the game and warn you. We do not know what was the outcome with Mr. Thayer's questioning, but as we stated before, your name will continue to be raised. The damage that Mr. Thayer has caused you and yours is immeasurable and we believe requires full legal attention for all involved along with King Troll Mr. Outside. Take note that King Troll Mr. Outside lives or has lived and has ties with people in New York City on 183rd to be exact. King Troll Mr. Outside should be addressed ASAP, especially being in close proximity to your location. Just recently, during one of King Troll's YouTube live stream, a YouTuber by the name of Eric Lawless stated, Go to East Chester Projects and find out who they are. That can invite serious problems and altercations for anyone that is believed to be Anthony D and or are associated with an Anthony D, which Mr. Thayer and the rest tied your name to. To recap, there's another individual on YouTube named King Troll Mr. Outside that is looking for an Anthony D, which seems to be synonymous with your name. Do not forget that Mr. Thayer blasted all your information, your address, your family address, everything on YouTube. With that type of information, and Mr. Thayer, Mr. Stefano, Mr. De Leon, Mr. Loggins, and Mr. Martin, leaving you a pedophile that may be abducting kids can place you and your family's lives in serious danger. On top of that, let's not forget that King Troll Mr. Outside and his friend Mr. Murphy lives or has lived in your area, which makes any threat way more credible. FYI, 183rd Street is known for gang activities. Individuals involved are the original individuals that were spreading the lie the first time around were Mr. Thayer, last known address. He made physical threats and hinted to going to New York to find you. Mr. Stefano, last known address, also responsible for posting your personal information for the public to view and contact you. Mr. Stefano's YouTube channel and his email. Mr. De Leon, last known address, YouTube channel and his emails are the current individual goes by the name of King Troll Mr. Outside that lives or has lived in your area which is actively looking for an Anthony D. Again, Anthony D was tied to your name by the aforementioned individual, particularly Mr. Thayer. King Troll Mr. Outside birthday is May 6th, possible year or birth, YouTube channel, Facebook channel. Worth mentioning, we believed that based on some of King Troll's actions and social media posting, that he is either or is in close contact with an individual by the name of Mr. Thomas. While King Troll Mr. Outside states he is not Mr. Thomas, at bare minimum, if King Troll Mr. Outside is not 
Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas more than likely can help you identify King Cho, Mr. Osai, along with a studio in New York City named Quad Record Studios. One sure way to find out who King Cho, Mr. Osai is to ask the officers to contact Quad Studios. They definitely know who he is. King Cho frequented locations are 183rd Street in Jerome, 61 East 182nd Street, 365 Sacramento Street in Brooklyn, Quad Studios at 7237th Avenue, floor 10. Other individuals that know of King Cho, Mr. Outside are Mr. Murphy, Sr., also known as Dirty Kinsler, his wife, Miss Murphy, the YouTube channel, wife Instagram, and wife's YouTube channel. Tam Tam Rocks, Miss Carothers. YouTube channel, another individual that's spreading your name is Robert, YouTube channel. Suffice it to say, Please take this seriously. The video evidence is included in the link below. FYI, a copy of this correspondence will also be forwarded to their local police station. This is the original video on Mr. Thayer. As we stated before, contact the police yet again and report all that were and are mentioned in this correspondence. Again, please take this seriously. Let the police know and take action if necessary. If you or the officers need any additional information, please contact us at WTPTWTips at gmail.com. Lastly, please read the comment section of the video for any updated information that we may have gotten after sending this correspondence. Very important. This correspondence is for preventive measures and or to be aware of. Nothing may come out of this, but it is better to be safe than sorry. Let the officers know to send a clear message to all involved to leave you alone. If warranted and you feel a need to send them a clear message, take them to court. You do not need to travel to their respective state to file suit, which can be handled via a Skype call. Again, nothing may come out of this, but it is better to be safe than sorry. Have the officials give them all warnings. Video link to the aforementioned statements. Best of luck to you and yours. We the people terror wars. So there you have it, people. That is what we sent to the person in New York. All right? We wanted to make sure that they understand what was going on. We, were, we made it clear that they were going after Anthony D. But because of Mr. Thayer, he tied Anthony D to his name, which is factual. Okay, and um, then we gave the names of people repeating Anthony D and so forth, right? And then at the end, we made it very clear that this is just for information purposes. This is for him to know, to be prepared for, and to let the officers know, hey, let them know to not bring your name up, to leave you out of this, okay? Because it's spreading across the internet. And if he feels he needs to send them a message, um, take him to court, right? But at the end, the clear message is this is what's going on. So now that person in New York is prepared for anything that's going to be happening, right? So if anything starts to happen or people start to send him things or, you know, something strange starts to happen, at least he could be vigilant of his surroundings based on what's going on the internet. Based on what Mr. Thayer, Mr. Stefano, Mr. De Leon, and Mr. Martin, and so on, spread on the internet where they blasted all of his information. An hour-long video Mr. Thayer did in regards to all that man's information, all his girlfriend's information, all his family members' information, all about their disabilities, all every single thing about that person for an hour long. Mr. Thayer sold the world and blasted all his information, all his addresses, every social media thing. Mr. Thayer did that to that man. So when Anthony D comes up and Mr. Thayer is throwing out the Lopez shit, of course you're going to warn someone. You have to warn them. Because Mr. Thayer stated, you go to the reference video, that, you know, the person may get shot for these allegations about child abduction and all that. So Mr. Thayer knew ahead of time that this person can't get killed. Yet he was speaking about sending flyers to let everyone know in that neighborhood that he believed that that person that he misidentified is a pedophile child abductor. So, what, you think we're going to stay silent on that? No. All right? So, um... This is what was sent to the person in New York, all right? They will get it. They will see the video evidence. They will do whatever they want to do with it because at the end, as we tell all of you, all we do is share. What comes of it is out of our hands. We cannot do anything else. We just send. That's it. We did our part. And this is what we tell all of you. Just do your part. Speak out. If nothing comes of it, you have at least did something. You can find comfort that you tried. And that's what we do. We just try and we send. Nothing can come of this, right? You can keep doing this like we we mentioned before. How many times have you played lotto? And how many times have you won a million dollars? But yeah, you still go and play lotto, right? Hoping that one day it will matter. So we're going to keep playing. Even for the rest of our lives. Like all of you, you will continue to play lotto. Just in hopes. You never know. You have to be in it to win it as they state, right? So this is what we do. We share. If something comes of it, fine. If it doesn't, fine. But we did our part. We did not stay silent. So this is all we do. 
So remember this. We shared everything to the person in New York, right? It's up to them now. They can just ignore this, rip it up, and say, fuck it, right? But if something happens, and they try to contact us, we're going to say, well, we sent correspondence to him, and we sent correspondence to you. If you did nothing, that is on your. We did our part, right? We're going to see something. A crime is in the midst. So we are reporting it. We're being proactive, you see? And letting people know, be careful. And this is what we do. That's all we do, people. We are an information distributor. That's it. What comes of it, comes of it. I mean, I don't know. You, 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 you keep thinking that um, that we're doing this and we must get results. No. The only result we need is to ensure the other person got the information. That's it. Once they got it, our job is done. When the mailman comes to your house, his job is to put the mail in your box. His job is not for you to open the mail. That is not the mailman's job. The mailman delivers and it's up to the person to read it or throw it away. So that is our job. We are information distributors. That's it. We deliver mail. Whatever they do with it, they do with it. But what we deliver is what you state. So if you are stating things that are not factual about yourself, that is your problem, right? That's not our problem. We are not psychic. We're going to quote you and we're going to send them the full video for them to decide what they want to decide. That's what we do. That's why defamation would never come our way. Because we give them the facts. And the facts are you. You saying it, right? That's it. If someone threatens to kill someone and they go to report it to the police, what are you going to say? But I was joking? Well, maybe you were, but maybe you wasn't. But it's not the person's fault for going to say he said it and then show the video say, look, look, he said he's going to kill that person. Now, the other person says, well, I was joking. You should have known. No, we should have known nothing. That's it. You put it out there, we report it. That's it. It's done. How many people out there are getting canceled over jokes, racial jokes? Did they really mean it? Possibly not. But guess what? They're still being held accountable for the stupidity that comes out of their mouth. So that's where we come in to hold you all responsible for the stupid shit that comes out of your mouth and share it with the world. You're sharing it on YouTube, so you should have no problem with us taking what you state and sharing it with the world. And listen, if you want to do that, share our work with, uh, I don't know, <laughs> put a, a post up of Billy Bob's face in the clown and say, this person. <laughs> so that's it, people. There's nothing more that we do. So, that kid, we don't give a shit, hate it. We don't fucking care, but anyway, this is the first phase. We had sent it to the person in New York, which is the most important stage. Now, the correspondence is being revamped, and it's going to be addressed to the Quad Studios, um, to the local police departments, and any local uh, media, newspaper, newsrooms. We do all that. We, we CC everyone, okay? We just do it. It's the information. We're just sharing it, all right? And everything that we stated in this video, we quote it is actually true it's in the video and all we do is quote what they state that's it no more we don't add more to it all right so it is what it is now you know yeah it is what it is so now we have to work on that video so we just wanted to let you know about this part that that is now sent out and hopefully um the person in new york reads it and and prepares himself for any anything that may happen or may not happen that's why we made it very clear at the end before our link very important, this correspondence is for preventive measures and or to be just aware of. Nothing may come out of this, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Let the officers know to send a clear message to all involved to leave you alone. That's it. We're not saying it's going to happen. We're not saying they're coming after you. We're just stating what is happening and what is transpiring online and how all those things seem to always end up with his name because of who? Mr. Thayer, Mr. DeLeon, Mr. Martin, Mr. Stefano. So there you go. There you go, King Troll. We told you. We told you. And you can see how detailed our letters are. All right? We missed your birthday. It was in May. Happy belated birthday. But um, we are very detailed in what we say and very factual. What can you say? You're going to say that we are exposing you for what you say online? That that, that That's going to be your go-to? Huh? I, I'm, I'm confused about what you're going to say about us that is factual and not defamatory. Not hearsay. You can't say shit. We can say a lot about you. And Quad Studios. Yeah. They're not going to like it. Well, they shouldn't like it because bad publicity may come their way, especially if it's going to be forwarded to the local newsrooms and the news outlet in regards to you going to the facility and having a video up where you were promoting somebody's weed. How do you know that they do that? It's Quad Studios into um, a, a promoting a company selling weed. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's it, people. Um, Any bubbles up? Fire up, troll. Unite we stand and unite fire to a fall.
about to go off like a weapon Fuel to the top, got a filled up engine In my thoughts obsession I will not stop, no I'm never second guessing I got a God complex Haters love to hate but I never feel pressed Got a lot on my plate but I never get stressed I'll